We just got huge news. Negro League players, can I say that word? <laughs> are going to be in MLB The Show 23, and here's the official trailer for it. I'm Bob Kendrick, president of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum, and we're thrilled to partner with MLB The Show to take you on a journey back to the Negro Leagues and introduce you to some of the baddest brothers and sisters to ever play this game. I ain't no joke. I used to let the mic smoke. Now I slam it when I'm done and make sure it's broke. When I'm gone, no one gets on, cause I won't let nobody press up and mess up the scene I set. I like to stand in a crowd and watch the people wonder. But think about it, then you understand I'm just a To music, maybe it's a habit I gotta use it Even if it's jazz or the quiet storm I hook a beat up, convert it into hip-hop form Write a rhyme and graffiti in Every show you see me in Deep concentration, cause I'm no comedian Jokers are wild, if you wanna be tame I treat you like a child, then you're gonna be named Cause I ain't no joke, joke. The story of the Negro Leagues is not an African-American story. It is an all-American story. You see, it's the kind of story that we as Americans have typically embraced. Because it's a story about pride, passion, perseverance, determination, the refusal to accept the notion that you're unfit to do anything. You won't let me play with you in the major leagues? Okay. I'll create a league of my own. That league, the Negro Leagues, was established right here in Kansas City on February 13, 1920, when Andrew Root Foster led a contingent of eight independent black baseball team owners into a meeting held at the Paseo YMCA. Out of that meeting came the birth of the Negro National League the first successful organized black baseball league. The Negro Leagues would then go on to operate remarkably for 40 years, from 1920 until 1960. They would not only change the game, but more importantly, they would change this country for the better. The circumstances that dictated a need for a Negro Leagues were sorrowful. Segregation was a horrible chapter in this country's history. But out of segregation rose this wonderful story of triumph and conquest. And that's the story that should be celebrated. These are the legends. These are their stories. This is the Negro Leagues. Did you like that trailer too? Guess Yelly's joining the video. But we are getting something new to the game called Storylines, where basically it's gonna take you through the history of some of the best players to ever lace them up, but they didn't get the national spotlight due to racism. What this sounds like to me is basically a beefed up version of moments. This is such a sick addition and is great for the youth of baseball because it's gonna teach you about some players you've never heard of. They announced eight new legends and I've only heard of two of them. But here are the look at the eight that are confirmed to be in the game. We got Buckle. O'Neal, a leader of men, Hilton Smith, the forgotten star, Hank Thompson, barrier breaker, John Donaldson, definitely read Josh Donaldson the first time I saw, the great barnstorming showman, love the name. So I looked at the stats, he is the OG two-way player, this dude was sick with it. Jackie Robinson, who everybody's heard of, Martin DeHigo, a maestro, Rube Foster, the father of black baseball, and then Satchel Paige, the ageless wonder but the Negro League's brightest star. Satchel Paige's final season of baseball came when he was 58 years old. I'm 27 and my body's already decomposing. I'm so excited to see these legends in the game, man. Whether it's the storyline game mode, DD, whatever it may be, it's definitely a cool history lesson. But I do think these are gonna be the only eight that are gonna be in the game this year. If you read MLB The Show Cardard's tweet, season one will consist of these eight players, and the blog says, which 
which I will link in the description below, that MLB The Show 23 represents the inaugural season and next year's game would be season two. So unless they just have one big one hidden, I think these are the only eight we're gonna get. And I'm guessing they have a multi-year agreement with the Negro League Baseball Museum. So then MLB The Show 24 will have the season two, 25, season three, and so on until the contract expires. So that means one of the greatest baseball players of all time, Josh Gibson, not just one of the best black baseball players, he's one of the best of all time that nobody knows about. I don't think he's gonna be in the game unless they're saving him, which is a little disappointing. I'm not gonna bitch too much, man. It's sick edition. Then a couple of other things regarding this new edition is for every collector's edition copy sold, SDS will donate $1 to the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum. Can't wait for all the people saying, oh, they're only donating $1. When you sell 100,000 to a million copies of the game, it adds up. And then also we are getting our first featured premiere this Thursday, which is gonna be a deep dive of the storylines. So we are gonna learn about all these eight new legends coming to the game. We're gonna learn how it works and we'll know what this new game mode is gonna look like. And then the featured premieres will keep coming every week, either Thursday or Friday, up until the launch of MLB The Show 23. So let me know what you think of this new edition. But that's not all the news we got. You can officially pre-order MLB The Show 23 right now. And with that, we kind of saw some new details in the description. One of them is in this Diamond Dynasty section right here, which tells you about DD. And then it also says you will get to live your dream with over 25 new MLB legends coming to the game, bring the total to over 180. So we're getting 25 new legends in the game, which is so much more than we've had in previous years. We already know about eight of them. We got Buck O'Neill, Hilton Smith, Hank Thompson, Sean Dong, said Jack Robinson's been in the game for a while now. We got Martin DeHigo, Rube Foster, and Satchel Page, plus Derek Cheater is on the cover of the game, so he'll be there. So we still have 17 new legends that we do not know about. There's a lot of hope for some really big names that we could still see. We also got a new feature program wheel spin that's coming to the game where you can continue to earn rewards after you complete the feature program. I think of this very similar as 2K, how it has the wheel spin for your my player, and you can earn stuff to help boost him up, but it sounds like you can spin the wheel whenever you complete a threshold to claim a reward. The more you play, the more you earn, they're gonna reward the grinders of the game. So when you finish a feature premiere, you're not just done, you can still earn stuff, whether it's packs, players, whatever, all that XP is not gonna go to waste this year. And then another big addition to DD is captain cards. You can designate a position and a pitching captain for your line. Up, and if you meet a certain criteria, you get an in-game boost. To me, that sounds a hell of a lot like chemistries like Madden has, which I think is a great addition for adding to theme teams, adding diversity to lineups. If they do it right, don't take anything from Madden scripts. But there's a lot of potential with that to make more cards useful and we can see more diverse lineups. So I'm really excited to learn about that one. Then also for all you franchise guys, that now includes new MLB postseason format, schedule, and some more CBA updates. So I'm guessing we're gonna see DH and other things like that. One thing I noticed about DD is they did not mention the DH. I'm really holding out hope that we get that because it would just make a lot of cards a lot more viable, but nothing new in there. Here's a little sneak peek of photos from the game featuring Sean Donaldson and Hank Thompson, two of the eight Negro League players coming to the game. Graphics look insane. Uniform definitely looks old school. Really loving the vibe. I'm excited to see what these cards look like, especially in the DD format, and how storyline's gonna play out, but we'll find out more about that on Thursday. Damn, man, I was not expecting all this news to come out today. I was just expecting to be able to pre-order the game. We'll find out about Negro League players and the storyline game mode, a few Diamond Dynasty features, a few franchise features, and we are getting our first feature premiere this Thursday going over the storylines game mode. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you're new so you don't miss daily MLB The Show 23 news, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.